chipsters, it's Big Bang experiment time again. Today we're going to build our own parachute. Are you ready for the extreme excitement? But to test the safety of our parachutes first, I'm going to use an object to demonstrate. Before we begin, make sure to get a grown-up and gather all your materials. First, grab two pieces of paper squares and use a glue stick to stick it together so that both sides are colorful. Your parachute should look like this when you're done. Now, we are going to fold the paper square into a triangle. To do this, fold the paper in half diagonally, like this. Now. Fold the triangle in half to make a smaller triangle. Grab a pair of scissors and cut the top of your small triangle. If you unfold the triangle back into a square, your paper square should have a hole in the middle like this. Now that we have our chute, it's time for some hole punching. Use your hole puncher to punch a hole in all four corners of your paper square. You should try to punch the holes on the paper creases you've made earlier. Your paper square should look like this. Now, use your hole puncher again to punch holes at four sides of a paper cup. The holes should be right underneath the edge of the cup and are all evenly spaced out. Next, connect everything together. Grab two pipe cleaners and cut them in half. You can do this by folding them in half and cutting the middle point. You should have four half-sized pipe cleaners when you're done. Let's use the pipe cleaners to connect everything together. Start by using one small pipe cleaner and slide it in one of the four holes on your paper square. Then make a small knot to make sure the pipe cleaner won't slide out. Repeat this step until you have tied all four pipe cleaners. Now, do the same thing on the other side of the pipe cleaners, but with the paper cup. Slide a pipe cleaner into one of the four holes on the paper cup, then wrap it around the edge so it won't slide off. Repeat this step until you have tied all four pipe cleaners. Final step, fold the creases again gently so that the parachute looks nice and uniform. Now, we need two of the same object, like these two erasers, to compare. Place one inside the parachute so we can compare the falling speed of both erasers. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Look at that! The parachute reduced the falling speed of the object. Chipsters, remember to mark your findings on your workbook and send me pictures of your experiment as well. Bye! Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial! <laughs>